Hi guys, Darko here. Welcome to my new tips and tricks video, this time for webOS 4.0 on LG's C8 OLED TV. So I will go through menus, show you different settings, features and a few tricks along the way. Of course, I'll cover this new Think uh, Smart TV platform, first traces of artificial intelligence, at least they, that's what they say, uh, on smart TVs starting this year. So Supplied Magic Remote, just like previous year, offers really intuitive ways to control this TV. And of course, main feature is this pointer and apps aligned down in the lower part of the screen in this customizable menu. So different apps, inputs and so on available and you can arrange any by simply holding it and moving to position you want. If you want to delete certain app like this one, you just press small X on top. And when you're done, you click here and that's it. Um, so before I started recording this video, I went to Netflix, Amazon and different uh, apps. And now if I want to go back to those apps, there are several ways. So I can always click here and run a particular app. I can use quick launch buttons here, which I covered in my 3.5 WebOS video. I can use these preset buttons, for example, to start Netflix. Or I can long press home to get this menu with recent apps and so on. So there are really many different ways you can uh, jump from, from one content to the other. And another thing what is good is that it takes only four seconds for TV and even less than four seconds for TV to come out of standby. So as I said, there were several apps here in recent that I had open. Now I will turn off the TV. Let's uh, look at this big reflective screen. And now I will turn it back again. So it's back to live TV. And if I press home and go to recent, again, I will see all the apps listed here. So it's really great if you have several uh, inputs or apps that you use frequently. Just long press home button and you'll get to them in, in, in an instant. Uh, what is great when I mention this long press? A long press can be used on several buttons. For example, this settings button. If you short press it, you will get that menu on the right hand side with picture, aspect ratios, sound and so on. And from that menu, if you go to all settings, you will get this settings menu with everything you can adjust on this TV. However, to get to that menu, you can also long press this gear button and there you are. Uh, what I noticed here is that if you long press mute button, you'll jump to accessibility tab. And here I want to show you pointer options because uh, it's been years since LG started with this WebOS platform and today we still have these three quite limiting options for pointer, for example. And coming back to home menu, this is where I see needed improvements in order for WebOS to really be number one platform out there. Uh, Apart from that, that you are limited in customization. So like it is, you can arrange icons here, but you cannot uh, change height or, or color theme, for example. Menus are still in Full HD resolution and they are upscaled to the native UHD resolution of the TV. And it's not really a big issue. However, in this UHD ecosystem where we're getting HDR, we are getting high frame rate, uh, I think it's time that we also get menus in proper UHD resolution. So 
Uh, I doubt that LG will upgrade this through software upgrade. Probably we will get this maybe on WebOS 4.5 or some other new version. Uh, what you see here also is this LG uh, Premium TVs link and what exactly that is is link to website so from what I know LG is second brand out there to offer ability to take any website from built-in browser and put it in home menu the first manufacturer where I saw that is Panasonic with my home screen there you could also put links to your favorite websites. And this is web browser, it works quite nicely, it's fast, responsive, and uh, it's a pleasure to use on big screen. However, I know that many people are not even using built-in browser, but to check uh, something on the big screen or to share photos, it's, it's really okay. So uh, if I go to new tab, so it also supports tab browsing. You need to go to this start icon and then you can add, you can bookmark it to home screen. So if you press yes, bookmark has been added. And now I just need to find it where it is. It's right here. So if I want it on some other spot, I can put it where I want. Now let's talk about connectivity. Uh, this TV has built-in Wi-Fi, has built-in Bluetooth, uh, USBs and also supports uh, content on your network to be streamed. Uh, everything that was present on previous generation is present here as well. So connectivity to Bluetooth devices is great. Uh, connectivity to uh, mice, to keyboards, Everything works great. Uh, there's also this LG TV Plus app, which you can use to connect to this TV. And I just press connect now, I select this TV. And then you have these three main tabs. So touch screen on your smartphone now acts as pointer control on the TV. Uh, you can uh, uh, browse through live TV programs, uh, turn off the TV, select inputs, so you get input list, list here. So if I go here, you see it's really fast. So I will now return to live TV. And I can also share content from my phone on the big screen. And this works for photos, for videos. And even if your device supports Miracast, you can cast the screen wirelessly uh, to the big screen. Okay, for Bluetooth connectivity, uh, as I said, it works quite nicely. I'll just do a quick demo. So I have this Bluetooth speaker from LG, which is right now in pairing mode. I will long press uh, this gear button, go to sound, go to sound out. And here you have among different out, among different options device selection, I will go to search and there it is. Let's see pairing. And so using TV's remote, I can adjust volume. And so on. So it's really, really uh, well implemented feature. Apart from that, you have HDMI uh, audio return channel on HDMI 2, works great. Optical, if you prefer that connection, and internal TV speaker. And internal TV speaker is actually down firing on this model, but there is this channel here to push sound towards the viewer. Okay. Apart from that, you have different options like this Dolby Atmos implementation and so on. So regarding sound, video and stability of the system, I don't have anything uh, negative to say. It's really quick, stable and easy to use. Now let's talk about video on demand apps. Uh, for example, Netflix uh, works really well. 
I was able to get everything from Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, uh, and also uh, other standard UHD 4K content out of it. And maximum was around 15 megabit uh, connection. So this really worked well. Uh, regarding Amazon, uh, I was able to get UHD resolution and HDR. As you know, Amazon Prime Video also supports HDR10+, however, LG is not supporting this dynamic metadata HDR format. Uh, on YouTube, same situation, I was able to get HDR and UHD without any problem. So uh, everything was stable and I have only good things to say. Now let's talk about this thing, uh, artificial intelligence. So TVs should be intelligent starting this year. And uh, there are many, many options you could use. And since I had this TV only for one week, I was not really able to uh, use every feature. However, I'll demo some of them to you now. For example, if I say, uh, play some blues music. So you see this thing uh, marking and here are some search results for play some blues music. So basically you get here uh, uh, results not only from YouTube and web but also from live TV. So it will uh, do several steps instead of uh, until now just one step. So you would say switch to live TV, it would switch to live TV. Now you can go one step further and you can say, okay, but I want something on YouTube. Perfect, great. Now uh, one feature that I saw in a promotional video from LG. So uh, people from what I know don't really use sleep timers all that often. Usually it's buried somewhere deep in the menus and people don't care about it. Uh, but what they implemented this year is quite nice. So if I say, for example, turn TV after this program ends, you will see that it recognized ends instead like A and D. So like Tom and Jerry, not like the end. However, uh, it still did activate this uh, sleep timer. So this program will end in four minutes and in four minutes, TV will turn off. And uh, first few days I tried it, it didn't really recognize uh, what I was saying. This ends was confusing it. But I, I realized just today what this maybe third or fourth time I'm, try I'm trying this, uh, that now it works as it should. So it's got some, some learning mechanism inside and I would really like to spend more time with this TV and not to pack it in like uh, one hour and uh, see it go. Uh, apart from that, you can also, for example, uh, open Wikipedia. Open Wikipedia. So it will open web browser and go to Wikipedia and put it on full screen. So you see several steps. This is, this is really a nice feature. Uh, if I go back to live TV, uh, I can all also say, uh, so TV is right now in Technicolor Expert picture mode and sound is in sports. But if I say cinema mode on, picture and sound are changed to cinema mode. And it, it's really nice. However, it doesn't work for all modes. As you can see now, it got it all right. Um, you can also tell him to switch to different uh, inputs and so on, uh, or ask for weather. Uh, what's weather forecast for tomorrow? So you get this information. Uh, Think is not available for all regions. In fact, I had to change country in TV settings to United Kingdom to get this. Uh, for users who will uh, choose their own country outside of this supported, they will get same functionality as with LG's WebOS 3.5. Uh, 
so no improvements uh, at least I haven't seen any uh, overall basically this thing is main improvement of LG's webOS in version 4.0 from what I know, this update won't be coming to a uh, previous generation of LG's TVs, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, considering the price, and if you find these features interesting, you might want to use them. Definitely uh, think about this new generation of LG's TVs. Uh, yeah, so now it wanted to turn off the TV and so on. Uh, basically, that was it in this video. Um, as I said, uh, all that I tried worked really well. Uh, apart from that, picture is amazing, sound quality is decent. However, I recommend that you connect to external audio system, preferably AV receiver plus speakers and then you will get really uh, well-rounded user experience on these TVs. Guys, thank you very much for watching uh, and I also thank to LG for giving me the very first sample available here in Croatia for a review. Unfortunately, I need to pack it uh, in a couple of uh, hours, but it's really been uh, a nice experience and I hope I will get another unit for, uh, for more detailed review. Thanks for watching and See you again. Bye.